Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Taurians. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. This is your Monday motivational reading. It may be Sunday in some parts of the world, but again, this reading is for the 30th of January through the 28th of February. Yeah, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart. Let's go, Taurus. Let's go. Including your, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I'm talking to you if your MC or IC is also Taurus. So I'm talking to your entire universe, all of the planets in your universe. So again, I am not just talking to you if your sun sign is Taurus. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what this, what's to come. All right. So we're coming up on a full moon in Leo, right? So we're not talking about any Leos that you know. We're not talking about a person. So Leo is a sun is is ruled by the sun. The sun is medicinal, is healing. It's what keeps this earth warm, right? It's it's a it's a star. It shines. It has no problem shining even behind that big rock called the moon. It has no problem shining. So if you are if your emotions are bruised and you're hurt by a situation that source keeps telling you to get as far away from it. As we move closer and closer to this full moon and your ego is bruised by something, it's going to make you look like you're very arrogant and low vibrational. So let me help you with something. Let me, this is what I'm trying to help you with. Here we have the queen of cups. Source wants somebody to be compassionate about a situation. Three of cups, eight of cups, and knight of cups, right? Knight of cups, right? Remember when we're talking about emotions, we're talking about... Uh, your emotions, your feelings, your subconscious habits, your mood. We're coming towards a full moon. The moon is aligned with our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions, what mothers us, what nurtures us. We have the Knight of Cups and we also have the Two of Pentacles. So there's a lot of emotion in your cards, lots of emotions in your cards. But that emotions can translate to creativity, which can also create uh, translate to more money. So Source really wants somebody to keep investing in themselves right meaning go ahead and start that business you've been saying you wanted to start you are a highly creative person don't let emotions from a past situation um manipulate your money well you're constantly talking and pouring out all this water these emotions and feelings about something in the past where source is saying you can heal yourself all you have to do is be compassionate towards something in the past Thanks, Source, in advance that, hey, thank you for giving me out of this situation emotionally. I don't have to stay stuck here. So I'm going to walk into my own sunlight. It's right here. See this moon right here? Again, back by the sun, illuminated by the sun. I'm stepping into my own sun. Remember, Leo is ruled by the sun. So as we move closer and closer towards that full moon that is backed by the sun, is illuminated by the sun, you're stepping into your own light purpose, right? But that life purpose, which is helping you to feel a lot freer, happier, you're earning more money. You feel like I'm getting more money. It can also help you. It can also shine a light on whatever is in your universe that hurts you. You, if you feel like you were manipulated by somebody in the past, oh, now that I'm getting money, blah, 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 blah. And he calls you to talk about something in the past. Remember you all are ruled by, you're ruled by Venus. Venus is the, the goddess Venus, right? The planet of love and pleasure. But that energy can also, if you read on the history of the goddess of Venus, it can also be very chaotic, confusing, very jealous energy. That's not the energy you want to put out into the universe. <clears throat> if anything, here's where you come up with more creative ideas to earn more money creatively is to have compassion towards something that you left behind and thank source most high, most high God for the ability to have an out of something emotionally. Thank you that I can get as far away from that energy as possible. If I feel like somebody manipulated me or somebody was a master manipulator, I can get as far away from that as possible. I can have compassion towards it. Here we have the tower card. We also have the chariot card. We also have the three of pentacles. We have the empress card, the nine of cups, and we also have the moon card. So, the moon card lets me know that somebody could have been in a very tricky relationship, a relationship at work, could have been a professional relationship. Remember, this is several situations, not just one situation at work where it was just overwhelming and draining for you. 
um, you could have had a child with that person or children with that person. Again, only take what resonates with you. Um, it could, but or, or you could, or the person could be pregnant with, uh, or you or you could be pregnant with child. There's something having to do with abundance and prosperity, like giving birth to something. There's a rebirth happening. So even if there's not a physical baby involved, there is a rebirth happening here, right? But the, remember this tower card, like somebody's having a, some kind of an awakening. It's like, you know what? When I think about this, I feel overwhelmed. I, I, I literally feel overwhelmed by something, right? And so right now you're in pause mode. See, this person is kind of, you can't really see like whether it's in motion or not. But this is where you're exhibiting a great deal of willpower um, and discipline about a situation. Let me, let me really sit down for a second and, and decide if I want to proceed with something moving forward. And so you being in, and you being in, in a posture of gratitude is source. Thank you for allowing me to change courses. I can use this water for my creativity instead of using this water to vibrate low. This moon card right here is somebody who it, it's like feeling like being tempted to vibrate at your lowest frequency, right? So I'm looking at the three of pentacles. Your money is in perfect alignment. And I'm also seeing wish fulfillment for you here. You got some really good feminine energy here. You're already a divine feminine sign. There's a chance at creatively somebody coming up with something that's going to make them a lot of money. Like if, if you can avoid allowing something from your past emotionally for like, okay, this person manipulated me. This person did this. They did that to me. If you can just physically get as far away from that emotion as possible, like I got to turn off the water faucet because this, it, this is called, it's tempting me to vibrate low, to have real dark thoughts about a situation. I need to emotionally get as far away from that as possible. And so again, that's when you're going to start seeing your money situation change. Hopefully that makes sense of uh, somebody because somebody's in a very vulnerable position right now as we get closer and closer to that full moon. That full moon in Leo in particular could make a lot of people feel arrogant, could put like a fire up under you and you could say or do things that burn people like a blowtorch and not even know, don't, not even realize what you're doing. So be very careful. Be very, very careful, Taurus. Be very, very careful. So somebody's creativity is in full swing. I love it because... You stepping into your life purpose, somebody could write an amazing, speaking of fire, somebody could write a fire song, somebody could um, be in a position spiritually of inspiring a lot of people. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. Ten of Cups in reverse. This has something to do with family. Okay. Ten of Cups in reverse. We also have the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Wands. Um, we also have the star card. We also have the three of swords. Hold on for just a second. So somebody has a real opportunity at their star shining bright is what I'm seeing here. Like somebody has a real shot at their star shining bright. But why, the reason why there's so much temptation is because somebody really feels like somebody's ego is bruised. Like, um, not your ego, but your, your emotions were like your sacral chakra, something having to do with your hormones or having to do with your creativity, like right in your sacral chakra out of alignment, right? So we have the um, page of pentacles, the three of swords, something like somebody's heart was broken. It could have been ego bruised as well. We have the four of swords also. We also have the ace of pentacles um, and we also have the hangman. So... You got to be careful. Okay, so the hangman is like sources saying, just be patient. Like, hang in there. Everything is going to be okay. Sources like trying to give you some time to make sure you don't vibrate low. Because this moon card, like I said, somebody was emotionally trying to weigh the pros and cons of a situation. You don't have to overthink a situation. Like, you know, I was delusional. Like, this person played tricks on my mind. They did something. Now I'm the one that's looking crazy and this kind of thing. Sources saying, get on your horse. Save yourself from a situation and let karma do its thing. Because somebody has been sticking their nose in a situation where we're, we're not responsible for other people's karma. 
it just is it's energy that other people put out into the, that we all put out into the universe coming back to us like somebody has been like you know like I, i'm not budging i'm not moving i'm not budging but this sort this this tower represents it's the planet mars and it's um it it represents energy if you're putting a lot of energy into saying somebody manipulated me they did this to me and so instead of putting your energy towards investing in yourself and growing your own money creatively i'm talking about somebody could be writing a book somebody could be writing songs somebody could be doing something that's going to help you to have healthy feminine energy come in and i do see somebody really being a star like i, I see somebody like like i don't know why independent artist or something is coming up but like somebody could be an independent artist and really really just like really shine on their own but it's something like i said that something may have happened and somebody what they somebody may have felt uh manipulated by a label or or uh, uh, your romantic life like somebody felt like something having to do with your creativity or your emotions were manipulated to some degree you can either choose to be a victim or you can be a survivor and start thriving that's what I'm, you know, seeing for somebody because I'm, I'm looking at, um, lots of, lots of the energy of money, like somebody new meeting new people. The page of pentacles is like new money coming across your, your path, but this is new energy coming across your path and you're working hard to, to get rooted and grounded again. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's investing in themselves, like somebody's investing in themselves and, it, it, like I said, it's it's a it's a it's multi layered when I look at this. It could, like I said, where are you putting your energy? Are you putting your energy into things that you're saying somebody manipulated you, and now you're emotionally drained, and then you're tempted now to do something back? Write a song, write a book. You know, uh, you know, learn how to play an instrument. Put all that creativity. Somebody is wildly creative. Like wow, look at all. Somebody is very, very creative. And that creativity is going, I'm telling you, it's going to translate into money. It's going to translate into money and it's going to translate into you getting rooted and grounded um, in ways that you never even imagined. Like somebody is going, their mind is just blown. Like, wow. Okay, this person, you could have been known, for instance, for being connected to something that um, you felt like you weren't your true, authentic self. And so, like, if somebody's a musician, you could have been a pop artist, but now you're going, like, neo-soul, or you're writing country songs, or you're doing R&B. You're doing something that connects more with you versus, you know, and, and you're using, so, like, some of the best songs are written because of heartbreak and disappointment and ego and all, like, people connecting to real earth feelings, right? So, that's what I'm saying for you all. We have the four of pentacles. We have the seven of cups. We have the two of cups. We have the five of cups. We also have the two of swords and the page of pentacles. Again, more money. So the page of pentacles again. So source is just sending energy across your path just to let you know, hey, you are, you are, you have a real choice. I mean, the real chance at getting rooted and grounded in this earth, right? And, we, and source is saying, be um, be more conservative with your time. Like, are you putting a whole lot of time into something that's going to, you know, like thinking about somebody manipulating me, they messed up my money, they messed up my family situation, they messed up such and such and such and such. Or are you putting into something that's going to really creatively make you a lot of money? And again, you're not trying to prove anything to anybody. This is, it's like, when I look at this right here, Taurus, it looks like source has been putting on somebody, somebody on a journey to their full authentic self. And that full authentic self, this is your son, right? Your son, when I, when I'm not S O N, but like your son sign of like being, this is who I am. It was already predestined for me to live a rooted, grounded, stable, very creative life. Right? So take the blindfolds off and see what the truth is. Like somebody has been in denial. I almost feel like, looking at your cards here, it almost feels like self-sabotage. I, I, the Eight of Swords is not out here, but it almost feels like, I, I, want, I heard this, um, I heard this pastor say a long time ago, it's one of my favorite pastors. I won't say who the person's name is because it seems like spiritual leaders, you just be getting a, 
is like sometimes get a bad reputation, unfortunately. You, you guys know I don't have anything against church. But um, one of my favorite pastors said one time that um, there are people who are really afraid of success. Like they will sabotage their own success. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Like somebody is focused so much on who manipulated their emotions instead of using that to um, to step into their own sunlight of doing something that's actually going to have a greater impact on the world. Like I got to get this energy back from manipulating me and they did this and that and so and so to me. They messed up X, Y, and Z. So, uh, so much creativity here. That's where some of the best songs are written. Here we have the seven of cups here. So yes, yeah, somebody is tempted. See how this person is biting their index finger? The number seven and see how the snake, somebody feels like, oh, hey, the snake got away. The snake, they got away. They got away. They are out, they are out here doing something. They, they got away. So a person can't even relax. You know, so here we have the, the, um, the, the five of cups and also the two of cups. And so this is where um, somebody is going back down memory lane. But again, emotionally, it's making you look like you're the person who's a pessimist about a situation and almost obsessed with a situation where source is like, do more of what you love to do for you and let source handle it. Let source handle the situation. Let source handle the situation. Let's go ahead and get ready to close this out, Taurus. Again, happy Motivational Monday as you get started preparing on your creative journey. If you're getting prepared on your creative journey, you are getting prepared on your creative journey. So, Taurus is saying to you, exhibit a great deal of willpower and strength when it comes to something because you're about, you're entering into something that's really going to blow your mind and blow other people's minds. Like, wow, I didn't even know that Taurus had that in them. And you do. Look for fairies. Yeah. Like I said, something is going to blow somebody's mind. Because Source has been trying to get somebody to open up their third eye for a long time. But again, because you're an earth sign and you, like, all earth signs as you, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, like, physically needs to see something for it before it makes sense. Like, see a, a pattern of something before it makes sense. And Source is trying to get somebody to raise their frequency so that you can see things through the eyes of Source within, right? So that's that tower card. So it can be coming through dreams at night. It can come through any way, shape, form, or fashion that somebody really is a star. Like this. So show the world the real you. Yes, show the world the real you. There's going to be a lot of people, like I said before, that's going to be shocked and surprised at your creativity. I mean, like really shocked at your creativity. Like, wow. I, but see, they've already removed themselves from your life, so they won't have access to you because you're turning off the water faucet. They won't have access to you in that sense at all. Um, so they're going to have to watch something from a nosebleed seat. Like, and I'm not saying that to be funny at all. It's like they're going to have to watch from a nosebleed seat because they, um, this is, this is so multi-layered. It just, you guys are just weren't on the same frequency, whether it was a job, a friendship, romantic relationship, a, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, this wasn't on the same frequency. So like I said before, I'm seeing a lot of, you know, wealth come your way. I am aligned. There you go. I am aligned. You are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. Anything that you wish. Anything that you wish, Taurus. Anything that you wish. So like I said, show the world the real you. Let people see the authentic you. Like I said, you weren't aligned. That's what I'm saying before is that they may have the same version of you that you may have had of them because there was there was never an alignment. That's a that's when people, um, like I said, don't spend too much energy on it. Just let source take care of whatever it is. Just let source take it. Source does not need a little helper to help it with whatever is happening here. Let's pull one last card, Taurus, and let's go ahead and close it out. 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 All right, patience. That's right, patience. I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good because it is. That is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you for joining me. Continue on your spiritual journey. Um, 
And I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.